I come from the dirt, from the wood, from your brain, from your darkness. I'm Christine. I don't like to describe myself because people always need to have some sort of a compartment to put things in. I just like to infiltrate your world and try to manipulate your brain to start thinking in different ways. And uh, the music that I make comes from a little bird in my throat. And when I sleep at night, the bird whispers in my ear and I wake up in the morning and I sing what the bird tells me to do. And sometimes the bird's angry and aggressive and sometimes the bird is sweet as a morning pudding. <laughs> I think that Art is a, a situation that all of us have inside of us, like a little pony uh, that kicks all the time. And I think it's just people who listen to their pony, people who trust the pony, and they don't let other terrible forces out there try to manipulate your own personal pony kicking inside of you. That, I think, is the closest thing to whatever the f an artist is. It's just listening to the pony. So I ride my pony hard. Creativity is a beautiful word. I think it's something that we don't have enough of right now in the dark realms that we are swimming in. My greatest inspiration it's not music, but it's uh, people who uh, don't stop. People who fight every f***ing day. People who get the f*** out of their house and get the f*** away from that goddamn TV screen and show up to a live room in a hot box because they need a person in front of them and they need to feel the heat and they need to hear something besides what's coming out of that machine. Those are the inspirations for me. I chose to do this show about Sinead, not as a cover band, not as a, uh, oh, not even as an homage to Sinead O'Connor. I wanted to use myself and the people around me who I am creatively collaborative with and have sexual artistic relationships with to allow the body of work and the power and the message of this super powerful woman to go through us, to carry her message and her heat and her energy so that we could try to address the that's going on in the world today. I've watched this woman her whole life fight, survive, have compassion, and extreme vulnerability, which most people are terrified of. And as this person opened up to us with important messages, she was poo-pooed by most and swept under a rug by most tried to be swept and she kept fighting and she got more vulnerable and when I go to the catalog of her music it's true and real and hers for her for us the album the lion and the cobra pours fire down me and burns me bright because it addresses every piece of we're going through right now but it's alive and it's real and it's raw and I love when something that has been made so long ago still has a voice today and relate and I feel that this particular album when it's sat next to this particular woman becomes such a powerful force of nature that all I want to do is offer my vessel up to it and taking all of that strength and that heat and that beautiful woman's energy and vulnerability and I wanna just push it onto you and it's gonna burn. That's just Christine.